All right, guys, let's take a look at the Rocket 88 D-LED tool. I've got a 7700K CPU here that we're going to D-LED. Probably already seen other videos on the internet, but I get asked this a lot, so I'm making another video of my own showing just this one operation. So here we have the uh, brand new 7700K CPU. So we're going to take the three thumb screws out. Have the D-LED tool. A little bit of old paste in there. So we'll take the uh, CPU out. You'll notice that in one corner here it has a triangle that lines up with uh, the pin number one triangle on the CPU. So we'll pop it in there that way. Care not to touch the gold contacts on the bottom if you can avoid it at all. So we have the gold uh, triangle on the corner there. Line it up with that. This doesn't normally fit all the way down in that socket, which is fine. There's, it comes with an Allen wrench, and we'll tighten down this Allen screw, and this will push the IHS off of, off of the CPU die. So we'll set this in place. When it pushes it off the die, the PCB part of the CPU will generally be all the way down into that slot. Snug those down. You'll have a little bamboo pick that you can use to clean off the rubber uh, gasket. So what we'll do, tighten this up as far as we can by hand. You can see that as I clamped it down, that pushed the PCB down into the slot all the way. And we'll just put the on wrench on there and turn. When it pops loose, you'll be able to hear it and feel it. There we go. It's loose. And voila. So you can use this, uh, your fingernail or this, this bamboo pick to clean off this rubber gasket around the edge. I would not recommend using a metal object to do that because if you scratch this PCB, it may be the end of your CPU. You can also use it to clean off this uh, garbage that Intel calls thermal paste. As you can see, this wasn't very good contact. This is a brand new CPU, so I never checked the temps on it yet, but it's kind of a waste of time, so I'm going to do it before I put it in. So we can go ahead and clean that up. I also want to take a look at the relid tool. So let me clean this up. I'll put some liquid metal on there, and we'll be back in a few minutes to take a look at relitting. I typically do not relid my own CPUs. I leave, leave them loose, but some have asked about that. So I thought I would explore it since I have the tool to do that. So got that paste off of there. 
we'll just uh, get this garbage off of here as well. One thing that works really well for computer electronic cleanup, you've probably seen on my other videos, is these alcohol prep pads. These are like what you'd use for giving yourself an injection at home. They're sterilized, they're clean, um, they have a nice cotton pad. It works really good for cleaning up any kind of thermal paste, either metallic or non-metallic thermal paste. It's got enough alcohol in it um, to do a good job. Let's get that cleaned off. Got it off the die there as well. It's not real critical that you get all the black rubber off of this part here, but this is pretty thick that's on the CPU, and I would recommend removing that or most of it so that when you go back together with this, um, this thickness is removed and you're going to be assured better contact between the the die and the the IHS. So I'm not going to burn a lot of calories cleaning up the rubber here. It's just not necessary. So over here we can use, like I said, our fingernail or this plastic pick or bamboo pick tool that comes with um, the kit. You can just kind of scrape it up. I generally find my fingernail works just as good or maybe even better than this bamboo pick does. But I believe that's why they included it. Like I said before, just don't use any metal objects on it. You know, the nice thing about the D-Lid tool is you don't have to use a razor blade. So you don't have to worry about nicking the PCB and ruining the CPU. So why run that risk after delitting the right way by using a, a sharp object on it that can damage the PCB. Got most of that off of there already. I'm going to get rid of this rubber cap here and be right back. You see that's pretty well cleaned off. There's not much left. Certainly not enough to hurt anything. A few little globs there that you might want to clean off just so that there's no extra. Again, your fingernail will work fine.
generally as clean as it needs to be. And here's the same alcohol swab I used a moment ago. It's just about dried out. So I'm going to use that to clean off any residue from that rubber so I can actually get a better look at what we've got left. So, so looking at the relid tool, um, we have this plastic guide. You would uh, put, as they show in the Bits Power videos, you put a little bit of super glue on the corners and set the IHS in place. You use this plastic guide to help position the IHS where it needs to be. It holds it on all four corners so that it's square. We have this device here that goes on top. And then this large thumb screw in the middle that can be used to hold downward pressure on the IHS while the super glue, or if you prefer to use the RTV silicone, can hold pressure on that until it's completely dried. So that's basically how it works. Again, the thinner, center thumb screw to hold pressure down on the IHS and the three thumb, thumb screws as a guide to position the placement of the IHS on top of the CPU PCB. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you find it helpful. Have a great day.